Hey, welcome back. About time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, just if you could uh, kind of recap for, we haven't talked to you, just recap yeah. the, the frustration uh, that what, what you've gone through, the rehab, the difficulty of it all. Yeah. Um, I mean, it started back in January. Um, I had my first surgery for uh, my rotator cuff in January 26th. And uh, so starting there from rehab and then, of course, my pec uh, tore in, I think it was the 28th of July or June. And uh, man, we've just been grinding. Um, really shout out to uh, Joe Mika, who's been with me every step of the way. Um, uh, yeah. And if you could, can you kind of take us through, uh, you know, with that type of injury, power, power is an important part. Um, do you feel that you've got it all back enough to be, you know, <laughs> battling guys all day on Sunday? Yeah, um, I think it's a credit to the coaches and the, and the, and the training staff that uh, didn't really rush me back. Um, you know me, I'm, I'm, I, was, I was trying to get activated weeks before they did activate me. And uh, thankfully, they didn't listen to me and, and they, uh, they kept, kept me safe. And because um, the, first, the first like two weeks ago, you know, I wasn't ready. Um, and I think the coaches and the training staff did a good job of helping me realize that and then having a plan of how to get my strength back fast and, and conditioning up. Okay. Thanks, John. Hey, John. Thad Brown, man. Good to see you. What up, Thad? How you doing? Not bad, man. How, how you know, you talk about the, the trainers doing the right thing and making sure you didn't come back too early. How antsy were you to get back? What was it like for you to kind of have to listen to that advice, know it was right, and also know in your heart you wanted no part of following it, too? Yeah. Um, I owe those guys probably some donuts and, and some food and because uh, they dealt with a lot. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, I mean, they did a great job. I mean, the Raider game, I was uh, it was a bad week to be around me. And with the, the Monday night game against KC or whenever it was. It was Monday, right? Yes, it was. Yeah. That, that, so those two weeks were, were – uh, they deserve their money. <laughs> Hey, on, on a football note, you know, a lot of people have talked about the fact that your return might be a big benefit for the run game. But whatever you might bring to it, from your perspective, kind of on the outside, what do you think this this run offense needs? And, you know, if it's up front, wherever, maybe where you could help there. Um, I think it's more just our guys getting used to playing with each other. Um, we've had so much shuffling pieces. Uh, with Q and Brian and Cody and, and injuries. And um, I think it's just – it's going to take some time. But I believe uh, from this week of practice, I mean, we, we, we've been definitely getting back to our fundamentals and, and making sure, you know, our, our hat placement is right and where our feet work are and making sure everything is right to get all the little things down. Cool, John. Welcome back, man. Good to see you. Appreciate it. Hey, John. John Scott, good to see you. Um, you mentioned the movement. Where are you going to begin your return here on the offensive line? We knew you were at the right side, obviously, mm -hmm. last year. Uh, but with Cody's absence, will you be playing left guard? Um, honestly, whatever the team needs me, um, whether it's left or right, uh, I think it will all shake down, probably find out tomorrow or, or Saturday. Um, but whatever I can do to help this team, I will. And is there a preference, a comfortability coming off of an injury, depending upon, you know, understanding you were on the right side? Is there anything that goes, goes into that? Um, I mean, I know I started right guard all last year, but um, in college I was mainly left guard. And um, when I was in Oakland, uh, I played left guard for like four games. And, and the other half of the games I started at right guard. So I'm, very, I'm comfortable with it, whatever. And then just quickly, we know your fire that you play with. Being away from the game to start the season, do you think that's just going to stir the coals and make them burn even more? Yeah. Um, I mean, like I said, I, I got to apologize to the, to the training room and, and my wife <laughs> because the, the last seven weeks haven't been my best. Well, thanks.
Hey, John, glad to see you again. Uh, I'm just curious if you pay any attention to the weather. It looks like it's going to be uh, a miserable day on Sunday, wet, rainy, windy. Um, do you kind of like those elements and, and the, the opportunity to sort of enforce your will in, a, in an environment like that? Uh, definitely. I mean, it, today it was raining in like 40 something. Uh, and I mean, me and, me and D Doc were talking about how, how much we love this weather because, you know, you can feel like you can go all day because you're not getting really winded from the, from the, from the weather. What, what do you see from their defensive front? It, it appears that uh, teams have been pretty successful, especially in the last few weeks of being able to run on them. Um, I mean, they're, they're a tough front up front. You know, they're going to try to run down your chest and, and speed to power you and um, play man behind it and run a bunch of games. And I mean, their, uh, their games will be our challenge this, this week, making sure that we, you know, we pass those off because that's what they're best at. Hey, John, Jay Skirsky with the Buffalo News. From your vantage point, what, what do you think has gone wrong with the run game to this point uh, this season? Um, I, like I said, I think it's just uh, not having the off season, not having um, line play is, is very determined on how well you guys work together. Um, and I don't think we had that uh, due to the scheduling. I don't think we had you know those reps that we needed. Uh, plus the injuries that we had, we had guys shuffling, coming in and out. Um, I think all that plays a role. And switching, I mean, we're we're definitely a pass first team now, um, which is great. It was fun to watch. I'm watching them sitting in the stands and watching Josh air it out. It's been a fun time. Uh, but I think with some some st stability that's going to come with when we get healthy and and how we went back to the fundamentals this week and kind of almost had a camp practice yesterday um, and just being able to get in our foot, footwork right. And, and like myself, I haven't played with pads since January and uh, being able to hit somebody and it's different hitting a bag and running your feet than hitting a man that's trying to get through the gap and running your feet. Hey, John, it's Sal here from WGR. Great to see you, man. Sal, nice to see you, buddy. Yeah, you too. Um, take me into the rehab a little bit, you know, emotionally, what it was like. I know that you said you were fun to be around, you know, but I'm talking about even on the early stages, you know, going through everything. Um, you know, what was it like just thinking about, you know, all the different, the, the grind, basically? Yeah. Um, honestly, the, the, the pec, it's been the worst injury, uh, pain-wise. Um, and feeling like a few weeks after, like four or five weeks go by and, and you know, you've been working, working hard and, and you feel it, you start feeling good. Uh, my pecs, like a few weeks ago, my pec was feeling like real good. And, and that's what everyone's told me, like, you know, you're going to feel good and then you're going to start doing more things. And, and then, so, it, and then when it starts hurting, it's, you know, you got to keep your emotions right. You can't just go and go in a dark hole. Um, mm -hmm. And I mean Lee, Lee Smith, and, and Josh, and Bees, they definitely were my guys that that, that that kept me going and kept me right on the right path, and, and my wife. And is that was that at the facility at home? All those things you guys you know able to yeah. see each other, talk yeah, to yeah, each other. Yeah. What was that um, like? Yeah, I mean I was in here like the two days after my surgery. I was just trying to get the rehab started, um, and when I'm here, those guys always come up to me and always, you know, make me still feel like part of the team because when you're hurting on IR and you're on IR for an extended amount of time, like, things go on. Like, mm -hmm. like you know, they still got to win games. They still got to – people still got a job to do. So, uh, appreciate those guys making sure that I didn't get left behind. Well, we appreciate you doing this. Thanks, and uh, welcome back. Appreciate it, man. Hey, John, Dan up in Rochester. Going off of that, that support, what does it say that – Josh was the one, you know, giving you a glass of wine or whatever it was. And, you know, you were calling him dad. You know, it wasn't just your mm -hmm. lineman buddies. It was, yeah. you know, the star of the team. Yeah, I mean, Bees is the, Bees is the original dad. Um, but you hear dad freaking 20 times a day. that It starts becoming part of your vocabulary. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it, it, it means a lot when, when, when your quarterback comes over to your house just to bring you some wine and just hang out. 
Uh, and what is, and, and staying sharp, you know, you always talked about Dable always FaceTiming you. Were you the one mm -hmm. FaceTiming Dable more just to try and stay, stay in the loop? Not, not so much FaceTiming, but I mean, I was upstairs, um, you know, talking to them and giving, you know, my opinion and trying to help as much as I can. Um, also, there's kind of a nice, a good balance of, I know uh, my personality can be a little much at times. So I, I try, at times I had to try to stay away just so I don't rock the boat too much. I appreciate it, John. Glad you're back. Appreciate it. All right, that's all for today. Thanks, John. Appreciate it.